Hey kids, welcome back to another week of Bubble Club. We had a little break last week, but now we're back and we're excited to do more fun stuff together. This week, we'll be taking a look at the story of Jesus' death and resurrection in the Bible. Then, Nicole has a special craft that she'll be leading us in. Glad you could join us. Let's get into the story. After Jesus was betrayed by his friend Judas, and after Peter had disowned him, Jesus was put on trial, even though he had done nothing wrong. He was sentenced to death, and he was beaten, he was mocked, and he was put on a cross to die next to two other criminals. When Jesus did finally die on the cross, the whole sky went dark, and the curtain in the temple was torn in half. After seeing all of this, even the guard who was watching Jesus said, Surely this was the Son of God. Even he was convinced then. Jesus' body was taken down and buried away in a tomb. And a huge stone was rolled in front of the entrance so that no one could go in or out. And guards were placed at the tomb to stop anyone from coming and removing the body. Three days later. A small group of women were going to the tomb to put some nice perfume on Jesus' body so that it would smell nice. And when they came to the tomb, they couldn't believe their eyes. The stone was rolled away to the side and the tomb was empty. Suddenly, two angels appeared and asked them, why are you looking for the living among the dead? Jesus isn't here, he's alive. And that's when the women remembered that Jesus had told them that this would all happen. So they ran as fast as they could to find the disciples and tell them the great news. They told them everything, but the disciples just thought that the women were talking nonsense. But then, Peter ran as fast as he could to the tomb, and he saw for himself that it was empty. Everything that the women said was true. This is the most important story in the whole Bible. And there's a lot of stories in there. Jesus was killed even though he did nothing wrong. He died so that everyone on earth could be forgiven for our sins. But he didn't stay dead. Three days later, he rose back to life. Jesus showed that he loved each of us so much by dying. But he also showed that he is more powerful than death itself. And he came back to life. We should be so thankful to Jesus and be encouraged to follow him with our whole lives. The women in this story had some pretty incredible news that they heard from the angels. Imagine hearing something like that and not running to tell somebody that you knew. So they ran and told the disciples, but the disciples didn't believe them. Have you ever been told something that you thought was too good to be true? I know I have. One time I was looking at a flyer and it said free pizza slice on it. But it turned out that it was a little too good to be true. I would only get that free pizza slice if I bought another slice first. I guess free pizza doesn't exist. Most of the time, when we hear about something great like that, it's a little hard to believe. The disciples, they certainly felt this way. They wanted Jesus to be alive more than anything else in the world, but it seemed like that was too good to be true. Especially since, by human standards, it's impossible to come back to life, right? But in this case, it was actually true. I also think it's cool that Peter in this story was the one who ran back to the tomb. The last time we saw him, Peter was making a mistake. He was telling people that he didn't know Jesus and was lying. But now he was the one who was the most eager to believe and to see Jesus himself. Time for a craft. Over to you, Nicole. It's craft time. Welcome here. We are going to be making chicks out of cardboard and yarn. So let's get started. What you will need is some cardboard, yellow yarn, orange construction paper, two googly eyes, a glue stick, a pencil, some feathers, and a pair of scissors. To get started, let's grab your cardboard and your scissors, and a pencil might be handy for this step as well. What we're going to do is draw an egg shape on our cardboard and then I'm going to cut it out. If you need help with this step, go ahead and ask a parent.
Our next step is now to grab our yellow yarn. And what we're gonna do is wrap it around the whole thing. So to make it easier, let's just tie it around so that it stays put. There we go. So I got it tied around, but let's make sure to put the knot part at the back. So that way, when we're all done, we don't see it. So what we'll do now is start wrapping our yellow yarn all over our egg shape. So now I'm at the end of my string. So what I'm going to do is make sure I end at the back of the cardboard again. And what you're going to do is tie it to another piece of string. So find one that is close to the top. And then what you're going to do is stick the string underneath. So that it comes out the other side. You can see it's underneath this one. And then you're going to tie a knot. You want to make sure it's tight so that the string stays. Just like that. And the extra piece you can just cut off. So now we have this funky looking thing. And what we're going to do is now make the beak and the feet for our chick. So we can put this off to the side and let's grab our orange construction paper and your pencil. And we're going to draw two feet and a beak. So my feet look like this and I'm gonna cut it out. So now I got my little feet. And the next step is to make the beak. So what we will do is cut out a piece of paper. Just about this size. And what we're going to do is fold it in half. And on the folded part, we're going to cut a triangle. So. I'll draw a triangle just like this and when I open it up the folded edge is on the top and I'll cut it out. And I have a little beak. And now our next step is to put everything onto our chick. So let's grab our two eyes because we're going to start with that first. We'll also grab our glue stick. Let's put some glue on the back of our glue stick. Now if you have a hot glue gun at home, this may be a little bit easier. So go ahead and use that. If not, a glue stick will work just fine. So we got glue on the back and we're going to put our eye kind of on the top here. Just like that. And we're going to go ahead and put our next eye on. Our next step is to put our beak on. So when you grab your beak and you open it up, you'll notice it kind of looks like a diamond shape. We're going to put the glue on just the bottom half and we're going to put our beak right underneath our eyes. So it's underneath the eyes and it looks something like this. So we're going to grab our feet and we're going to put them on our chick. So what you'll do is put glue just on the top half of the feet and then we're going to put them on. And the part that has glue on it is going to go on the back of your chick. 
so that when we look at the front, we'll see that your chick has little feet. So I'll go ahead and put the other one on. And now my chick has feet. And now our last step is to put on his or hers feathers. We'll do the same thing with what we did with the feet. We're going to put the feathers on the back of our chick, kind of somewhere in the middle. We'll stick the feathers on. And now we have our final product of our little chick. Thanks for joining me. And I hope you had fun. I'll see you in Bubble Club. Thanks, Nicole. I'm glad you could all join us for Bubble Club this week. Have fun making your little chicks. And I'll see you all on Zoom. Bye.